Sunshine Patriot and the Fairweather Christian are coming to an end. We're going to have to pick what side we are on. And there's not ten different options. There's only two. We will either be on God's side, living a pure life, standing for His laws, regardless of the cost, or we will be on man's side, which means we are the enemy of God. And the reality is, these evil people and groups that have just dismantled this country over the last hundred years, they have done that while an all-powerful holy God has been sitting on His throne. What does that mean? It means He has allowed that to happen. That's what should drop us to our knees in fear. Why would a holy God that hates what these people are doing far worse than we do, why would He allow them to flourish and succeed in their plans? Well, I think if each one of us looks inside of our own heart on our knees before God and says, God, what have I done that has caused you to remove your hand of blessing from our country? I know we've all done things that have contributed to the problems that we face. If we repent, if each of us individually comes before God and makes things right and then makes a firm decision to go in the opposite direction and change things, I know He will bless our efforts. I know He will give us back our country because that's who He is. He is long-suffering. He loves His people. He loves truth and righteousness. And He hates what is evil. I ask you to join with me and my family and commit to pray for our country, for our children and grandchildren, for the generations that are to come that we will do everything in our power to turn them back to God's Word, to His principles, to His way of doing things, which always brings blessing. And I think as He sees that repentance, He sees that true desire to love Him with all our heart, mind, and strength, He will step in and crush our enemies, the ones that right now seem to be in control of almost everything. Just like I told my children at the festival, God does answer prayers. He can save our country. There's nothing that is lost that cannot be found by the power of God. There's nothing that is hurtling through the abyss that cannot grow wings and soar to the heavens by the power of God. You shall mount up on wings like eagles. You shall run and not be weary. And I think that that's true of our country. And in our case, we won't be discovering something or finding out, we'll be rediscovering. We won't have to wander about in, in foul and distant places. We just have to go home. We have to go home to the heart of faith. We have to go home to the true spirit of liberty. We have to go home to that reverent love of God, which triumphs over every fear and we'll find America again. Isn't that beautiful? You come home to God, and there you will find America. And that's what we've got to do now. And that's why I'm optimistic, because God can save our country, but he won't until we ask.